Judge, uh, that's right, 575 days until election 2012, and you partisans out there, you have been given the time that you have left to try to get me off the air before 2012's elections, because I know you're trying to get your partisan slant out there, and you're trying to make sure that the radio is tilted in your direction. Just a friendly reminder from your independent voice. Well, not your independent voice, the independent voice, the person that balances the universe out. Now, I last hour have been talking about Donald Trump's run for president of the United States. That's what we presume that he's going to do. We know others are running, but none of them are polling higher than Donald Trump right now. He's polling number one with the Tea Partiers, number one with the Tea Partiers, with all this birther talk. Now, how is somebody that is talking, this is what I've been talking about ever since yesterday, ever since last hour, how is someone out there, and I smell blood, that's the reason why I'm going to continue to bite, jump into you people that are on the political party plantation, you conservatives, you Republicans out there, I'm going to continue to nip at your heels because that is exactly what you need. Many of you are trying to fight off this race. Don't you dare call me a racist, Rob. Don't you dare say that I'm a racist. Don't you dare indicate that I might be a racist because I'm a birther. And I believe that the President of the United States needs to produce a birth certificate. Well, you're exactly what I'm talking about. You're exactly what I'm going to continue to to highlight and spotlight i am calling you a racist because that is what xenophobia is that the xenophobia fear of the unknown you have this fear that the president is not like you he doesn't look like you he doesn't appear to be like you and because he's not he doesn't have the heritage that you have then you are absolutely going to have to explain this if the tea partiers are making him number one, and all he is talking about is Barack Obama's birth certificate, this, Barack Obama's birth certificate, that, then that means that we are absolutely positively in a situation where there is in the open an acceptance of intolerance. And, and, and this has been going on for some time. Want to make sure this is on here. This has been going on for some time. This all started with Barack Obama and how he is, quote unquote, a Muslim. Why does it matter? No one is yelling that he's a Jew. Rob, he's secretly a Jew. Same difference, just a different faith. You want to know what the difference is? You know what the difference is, Oatman? What, what? You've been listening to this show. You pushed a button. You're chief button pusher of this show. What is the difference between a Muslim and a Jew? Well, yes, definitely the holy book. But there's another difference. There absolutely is. And you know what that is? Yes, absolutely. Ding, 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 ding. You've got it. What have you won? Well, you know what? You get to keep your job. How about that? It is because of the skin tone of Muslims. It is not anything else. That's what this is about. It is the concern about the skin tone of Muslims and the fact that the Muslims are taking over. If this were a Jewish president, no one would care. Or if you suspected that he was a Jew, how do I, how do I say that? It's because we know that. We know that because who? Who, who ran for office? Who was a Jew? Who ran for vice president? Who was a Jew? That's right. Lieberman. No one was concerned about the fact that he was a Jew. As a matter of fact, they were so concerned that they would be called anti-Semitic that they never said anything about it. So when people talk about how Barack Obama is not a United States citizen, these are the same people. These are the same exact people. Making sure this is on here, these are the same exact people that have said over and over again, Barack Obama is a Muslim. These are the same exact people that have said, this guy is trying to be big government. He's a socialist. Every charismatic black guy that's come along from Malcolm X to Martin Luther King has been a socialist according to these same set of people. 
Martin Luther King was assassinated because he was quote unquote a socialist. He was fighting for workers rights. Every populist black male that comes along that talks about this is what we need to do for the people, for the poor, for the downtrodden. We're going to level the playing field. This is what we're going to do to make America equal for everybody. This is how we're going to level the universe. These people have always said they are socialists. These people have always said they are dangerous. They They're anti-American. These people are not who we want running our country, having influence in our country. So what do we do? We shoot Malcolm X. What do we do? We shoot Martin Luther King. What do we do? We shoot down Barack Obama. And that's exactly what, it's the same contingent. It's the same redneck swath of racists combined with some boot licking, some some handkerchief head wearing Negroes that are with these people. I am not joking. It is absolutely, positively the most despicable thing I've seen in some time. These people absolutely are the same exact people. They're the same people that killed King. They're the same people that killed Malcolm X. They're the same people that are now trying to destroy Barack Obama. They're the same people that say he's a Muslim. They're the same people that say we're paying too much in taxes and this is socialism. And they're the same people that are saying right now that he is not a United States citizen. These are the same people that are making Donald Trump number one, number one, the number one candidate among Tea Partiers. And these are the same people that are going to the same Tea Party rallies, that are going to the same, all over the the country, all over the globe, that are going to the same Bertha rallies and the same We Hate Black People rallies. They're the Klan out in the open. They're the Klan without the right sheet. They're the Klan, but except now they're wearing suit ties and they're, and they're wearing hair pieces and they look like Donald Trump. It's the same people. And that's what I'm warring against. And that's what I'm warning against. I am telling you. I am not telling you what I think. I am telling you what I know. These people have to be dealt with out in the open. And that's exactly what we're going to do on this program. That's exactly what we're going to continue to do on this show. That's exactly what we're going to continue to do at the website at ReadingNewsReview.com and the World Wide Web where all these headlines are taken from. That is exactly what I know to be the truth. And that's what I do on this program. And for all you Democrats out there that continue to smile in from ear from ear, that continue to say, well, Rob, keep going. This is what we love. I'm sure you do. But I can tell you one thing. I don't work for you. Stop the stinger. I don't work for you. I work for the truth. I work for an independent America, free from all of you partisans, all of you. So again, 575 days left to come get me. Come get me. Come get me. No, 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 no. Making sure this is on. Come get me. Back in moments with more Reading News Review, the show.